So our team works to um, assist countries with prevention and control of waterborne diseases, including cholera, typhoid fever, dysentery, E. coli infections, and the many other infections that uh, sicken and, and kill many children in the developing world each year. Uh, we settled on using uh, chlorine or dilute bleach, sodium hypochlorite, for water treatment at the household. Uh, it's safe, simple, it's inexpensive. Um, and we added to that the need to protect that water once it's treated so that the water would be stored in a container from which people would pour the water, not a container into which they would dip their hands or objects, an open container which would allow the water to become recontaminated. Um, and the third part of the safe water system, besides the water treatment solution and the safe storage container, is the behavioral change, getting people to wash their hands, to handle the water safely, to wash fruits and vegetables and, and cooking and um, eating utensils with clean water, with soap, and with bleach uh, as needed. Um, so that and better sanitation, there are a lot of things people can do within their own households to prevent the spread of diarrheal disease. Piped water treatment uh, and distribution systems are, are what we ultimately need, but in the meantime, simple solutions like filtration, chlorination, solar disinfection can be uh, used at the household level. Families can use them, schools, clinics can use them to make sure that the water they drink and that their patients drink or their students drink is safe and doesn't cause disease. And hand washing with soap can be easily promoted. Again, a, a simple low cost technology that can save millions of lives. How could you not be attracted to working in that? <laughs> really?